What's going on, you guys? Like, with you guys to the channel, it's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. Today, I got one for Sylvis Love starring. Hold up, let me make sure I don't just completely destroy this young man's name. Namdin As As Asamuya. I think I got that right. That's the best I got. That's the best I got. And uh, Tessa Thompson, y'all know how much I love Tessa Thompson. Give you guys a quick synopsis of this film. Sil uh, Tessa Thompson plays the character named Silver, who uh, works at her dad's working shop, who um, ends up hiring this man, young man, this saxophonist. Is that what they call saxophone? Yes, that is exactly what they call saxophonist named Robert. And Sylvia's uh, engaged, but her... Um, Robert have this summer romance that um happens for the summer and then they end up reconnecting five years later to realize that the feelings that they had for that summer weren't just a summer thing and it's, it was more long lasting than both of them realized. I first of all I have to say I, I this is I really enjoyed the hell out of this film. I think there were some aspects of it that uh, somebody brought to my attention last night before I even, you know, got a chance. Because I was about to do my review last night. Yeah, somebody t hit me up and they said, I didn't like the film. I was like, what? And their reasoning was very, very valid. There were certain things in it that bothered, bothered them about how the characters, like, interact. Me, I've never been a person to, like, ever, like, be okay with, like, cheating and stuff like that. But when I, the for, the story as to how Sylvie got engaged was presented to me, I was kind of like, well, and this this is one of those rare instances where I'm like, oh, I, I'm not really, you know, I'm not, I'm not really against what's happening right now between these two because it's, it felt so romantic like it felt romantic as hell that's probably the big thing from the film the two connected well the chemistry between the actors were great uh uh, uh oh the oh my the musical selection <laughs> called the soundtrack was perfect the way the songs were used is that the songs would be playing but they would gradually get louder as they go. And it's like you hear it, yet you don't start singing until the song gets loud because it's like it, it's it like it led you into the moment. I'm just like, oh, this is beautiful. This is this 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 is love. This is love. Everybody know, like if you, well, everybody might not know, but like I'm a firm believer in true love. In a movie, okay, in real life, probably not, but like in a movie, I'm like, oh, they can do it, they can do it, and it's like that's that, that feeling of like that connection between the two. You just like, y'all gonna do it, and then there's other things that are presented to them, other obstacles that are in their way, and you're like, oh, maybe not, but then you, then, and then you quickly realize, like, nah, it's not going anywhere. Like that spark, that 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 flame, that they that that everlasting flame that these two have for each other, it's not going anywhere because you see how they act when they see the other person interacting with someone else that's not them. Okay, you know, it's one of those like how I can't, I shouldn't be mad about this, but I am because I want you to only have eyes for me. Oh, it's, it's the way they do that is so is is charming and uh, like it's not only that. The, the love and the romance is not the only thing that's going on in the film. It's like tough decisions that both have to be made by both parties because there are dreams being chased by both people. There are opportunities being presented by both people. And like, do I want to stop this person? Do I want to be selfish and stop this person from achieving what they want to achieve for me? Or will I have to let it go? It, it's so much conflict in it. And I'm not going to lie. Not gonna lie, by the end of this movie, I think I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. I was 14, there was 14 minutes left to go in the movie. I had to pause, I got a phone call. It was one of my homeboys, he was like, What's going on? We were chopping it up or whatever. And I was like, Hey man, I know you with your girl or whatever, but I got a movie for y'all. It's called Sylvia's Love. Check it out. I said, It's really good, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I said, The only thing though is that I was 14 minutes left. And one thing that's big with like both of us is like the, the ending. Like if a movie doesn't land the ending, it can ruin the entire film for me. 
So I was like, unless they blow it in these 14 minutes, it's a really great film. Well, the film did something where I said, wow. Wow. It wasn't blown, but I was just like, wow, y'all really did that. But here's the thing, though. It made up for it immediately. Just by a simple little piece of dialogue that connected some things for me, I was just like, I never even looked at it that way. I never looked at it. I was like, and then it even wraps it up even even better, you know. At the, the very end, I was like, well, you got me. You got me. Silver's Love is one hell of an en uh, en en enjoyment. Um, I thought it was a great film. Uh, the soundtrack was awesome. Those it, it was one issue I had that that, that just because somebody else brought that to my attention that is kind of like stuck in the back of my head now um, that I can't necessarily say. Well, I guess I can. It was um, it they said that Robert was a little too in, in, in invasive. You know what I'm saying? And pursuing Sylvie. And I was just like, well, I guess I can I can possibly see that. But I'm just like, this is 1957. I don't even think people thought like that back then. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I'm looking at it from two different spec uh, perspectives. Also, me and this person come from two different walks of life. I'm a, uh, She's a female, so she's thinking one way. I'm a, I'm a dude from, you know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> I'm thinking a, a totally different way. So it's just, I guess it's like whatever walks of life you own, you know, so will that bother you or not, especially. And then I feel like you have to watch it to see how it's executed to know like whether you are like enjoy it or like, oh, it's not really that much of a deal or not, you know, but overall, I think the film was fantastic. Uh, uh, probably one of the best of 2020. I don't know if it's going to end. I haven't did my top 20 of this year yet, uh, but uh, that, uh, I mean, my top 10 of last year um, yet. Uh, so I don't, and I'm pretty sure this video won't come out to after the, uh, that one. So uh, you'll know if it made it b b before this review even came out. But uh, yeah, you guys check it out. It's on Amazon Prime. It's really dope film, man. Um, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. If you've seen it already, let me know what you thought about it. Um, I'll catch up with you guys later. Have a safe uh, uh, 2021 uh, and, and be the best. Be the, be the best person you can possibly be. Peace out, y'all.